Today I'm gonna show you how you can transform every single weapon in the game into a speed clearing monstrosity. Let me ask you this, have you ever struggled to level up a certain weapon? Like you wanna get a certain spell, but it's just too painful to level up that weapon. Well, I want you to forget about all of that for it's all gonna change today. When it comes to speed clearing, it's not so much about the weapon, but more about the other gear pieces. What if I told you that your armor would actually help you clear faster than your weapon? Don't get me wrong, the weapon is still very important as you will soon see but it's not that important. Let me show you what I mean. This is the half build that you want to be using. It goes like this. Assassin hood, spec the jacket, any kind of shoe. You just need them for the run ability. All the shoes have this ability. Cabbage soup, a plain old normal cape, a normal bag, some poisons and a horse. As you can see, the weapon is missing because you can literally use anything. The whole loadout without the weapon is 61k. So for 61k you can level anything you want. When it comes to using this build, it doesn't get any easier than this. You just want to activate your R and keep it on you as long as you possibly can. Whenever you get to like 50% health, if your enemies are not dead, you might need to turn off your R and potentially even disengage. In between pulls, you do not need to turn off your R because as you see, the cabbage soup heals you for much, much more. Now, if you're using a bad weapon, like I am right now, whenever this happens, usually you might need to disengage. At this moment I don't really need to, but what you would do usually, you would disengage, you would reset your R and all, your, all of your other spells and you would just go back at it again. That's it. That's all that you need to keep in mind. You can pair this with anything, and I mean anything and it would still work. To prove it, I paired it with one of the slowest weapons, Great Nature Staff. The only good thing about this combination is that the E works pretty well with the R, but that's it. While the footage of me agonizing is rolling, I will talk with you about other possible combinations. We'll discuss about every single weapon tree and I will give you my recommendations for speed clearing. Let's start off. If you wanna level up swords, I would pick between Carving Sword or Galatia and Pep. They both have a lot of AoE damage and they're both pretty good weapons to spec up. One is amazing for ZVZs and the other is amazing for 1v groups. When it comes to axes, I feel like Great Axe would be your best bet. The AoE Q and the E will just melt bosses and mobs alike. Though if you go with this, you might need energy pots, the first spell on your helmet or Scholar Cow. Because Great Axe eats up a lot of energy. Maybe you wanna level up maces, in which case, what is wrong with you? I'm kidding, I'm kidding. If you wanna level up maces, Incubus or One-Handed would be your best bet. Pick the AoE Q, the first W, pair them with Mist Collar or Torch, and you are good to go. Alright, let's speed this up a little. Hammers, pick One-Handed, pair it with Mist Collar or Torch. Crossbows, you definitely wanna pick Light Crossbow, it's by far the best one, and as always, pair it with Mist Collar. For bows, the normal bow is your best bet, by far. Like, really. Talking about normal bow, I have to add something. While the build absolutely works just the way I showed you with Spectre Jacket and Assassin Hood, you would be much better off, in my opinion, replacing them with Mage Cow and Mercenary Jacket. Yes, you won't be able to clear as fast. But it's not like the bow is a slow weapon by any means. And replacing those two items will give you much more survivability and much more PvP potential. Try it out, see if you like it. Next on the list we have Spears. They all work, like they really, really work. But personally, I would pick between Heron, Spirit Hunter and One-Handed paired with Miskol. All right, enough with the stuff that works. Let's speak about Nature Staffs. <laughs> Nature staffs are amazing, don't get me wrong, but definitely not for speed clearing. However, if you really want to do it, I would pick Great Nature Druidic or Blight with Mist Collar. At this point, I should just leave the Mist Collar on the screen. Anyway, let's talk about daggers. When it comes to this, I feel like Blood Letter is your best bet, by far. Like, j j just look at this. This is part of the PvE set that I usually use whenever I want to do PvE in a dangerous area, like in the roads of Avalon, in places in which I could always get attacked by other players. What I would do in a PvP scenario right now, I would switch the helmet to Mage Cow, that's much better, for PvP, strictly. I would change the jacket spell to Inferno Shield, that really helps for PvP situations. Yeah, this is one of my favorite builds. 
and for a good reason. The Avalonian daggers could also work pretty well, but yeah, I would stick to blood leather, combined with Muise this time. But you can also combine it with Miskolo. <sighs> Next up, we have quarter staffs. Bro, you want me to be honest? None of them work. <laughs> Just pick whatever, like close your eyes and pick whatever. Your armor will carry you through. You could try Black Monk, but yeah, you should buy higher tier armor for this one. <laughs> oh, but you wanna know what really works? Our next entry on the list, Fire Staffs. They are the complete opposite to Quarter Staffs. They all work, like literally. Just close your eyes and pick, it's gonna work. If I were to pick the best, I would pick Great Fire Staff, Blazing Staff and Inferno. Oh, and the Avalonian, Th that's also pretty good as well. Oh, oh, I almost forgot about Wildfire and... Uh, uh, really, they all work. Do not worry too much about it, just pick one. But you wanna know what actually doesn't work? Holy Staffs. Oh, man. Same strategy as with the Quarter Staff applies to this. Close your eyes and pick, but make sure to get higher tier armor. You could go with Divine, but don't get me wrong, it doesn't work any better, but at least you get a shield with it. <laughs> Next up is Arcane. Alright, so Frost Staffs. If you want to use Frost Staffs, you should... What? Oh, I didn't make a mistake. It's just that Arcane shouldn't ever be used. <sighs> Fine, I'll come back to it. Do you guys remember what we talked about? Hammers, Quarter Staffs and Divine Staffs? Yes! Multiply that by 100. That's Arcane for you right here. You could try to use Great Arcane for the stun or maybe One-Handed Arcane, but... Yeah, don't expect to have it easy. Finally, something that works, Frost Staffs. When it comes to Frost, all of them work. But there's, there's one that just really shines when I think about, and that is Great Frost Staff. Don't get me wrong, as I said, they all work very well. With the AoE Q and the first W, you can wreck everything with any of them. But the Great Frost also has a very good AoE E, which, trust me, makes a huge difference. And last but not least, one of my favorite trees of them all, the Cursed Tree. Here I would pick between Cursed School, Great Curse and Life Curse. Pick the AoE Q as soon as you get it, use the first or third W and go to town on the mobs. As a new player, one of the biggest pitfalls you can fall into is thinking that you need expensive sets to be able to properly play this game. I cannot state the amount of players that run around with 500k sets thinking that that's the only proper way of doing PvE. Actually I used to be like that and I'm telling you what I wish somebody would have told me. Use cheap sets you do not need a 500k set you can do just as fine with a 40k set i hope i gave you a good idea about how you can combine different types of weapons with this set to transform them into speed clearing monstrosities and i hope to hear that you managed to level up the weapon you desired all right if you stayed up until this moment i have a question for you do you want to see a 40k build that can clear the raid content what am I talking about? Of course you do! In which case, click over here. This is actually one of my main PvE builds whenever I want to make silver. Honestly, if I were a new player right now, this would be the build you would see me running around with. Check it out.